it's, oh my gosh, all the numbering's wrong. Well, damn. Hey guys, it's Jessica. Happy New Year. For the first of the year, I'm doing a new tag, the bookish firsts tag. This is a tag with seven questions talking about firsts with books. The first question is, the first book you ever read as a child. And I have a pretty funny story with this. So the first book I ever read as a child was Green Eggs and Ham. And my sister used to read it to me all the time. And I had memorized the book. And I told her, I want to read it to you. <laughs> and so I was reading her this book. <clears throat> but I had it upside down. Uh, she didn't even say anything to me until I had finished. And then <laughs> she turned it upside down and gave it back to me. And she said, good job, Jessica. And that was my first book, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. The second question is the first chapter book you picked up on your own. And mine, I don't remember exactly what it was. It was either a Babysitter's Club book or it was a Goosebumps book. I loved both those series of books when I was in like fourth and fifth grade. And I think that was when I first picked up a chapter book. So it was either a Babysitter's Club book or a Goosebumps book. The third question is the first book that ever made you cry. And I have said this before, I don't usually cry in books. I might get like really sad and like, oh my gosh, this is really depressing. But I'm not usually one to cry. But I do remember the first book that made me really, really upset. And that was A Child Called It. If you have not read that book, it is so depressing. It is so sad. It's just a very emotional book. And so that was my first book that ever made me cry or really upset. Four is the first book you ever remember recommending to someone. And for me, it was my sophomore year of high school. I was in an AP classic literature class and we read A Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovic. I love that book. I absolutely love it. Um, and it, I recommended it to like everyone I talked to. It's like, oh my gosh, have you read A Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovic? You haven't? You need to. It's so good. And so many people hated it. <laughs> But I loved it. I thought it was so good. Number five, the first book you remember really disliking. For me, it was a tie. I read both of them in middle school and I didn't like either of them. It was either The Kite Runner or The Giver. I really hated both of those books. I thought they were terrible. I don't even remember why I thought they were terrible. I just really didn't like them. Maybe I should reread them because maybe if I reread them, I'll be like, oh, See, your matured reading skills have really improved upon your perception of books. Yeah, right. Number six is the first book you ever talked about on YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube, maybe you blog. What was the first book you blogged about? Or what was the first book you felt compelled to write about for any reason? For me, the first book I ever YouTubed about was Sideways on a Scooter, and that book was about a woman who traveled to India and her travels and her work as a foreign correspondent. And the last question, number seven, the first book you read in your favorite genre. My favorite genre is historical fiction. I love historical fiction. I think it's amazing and wonderful. And I'm not 100% sure if this book technically counts as historical fiction, but it is the book that got me into historical fiction, and that was A Diary of Anne Frank. I really like that book. I read it when I was, I think, 7th or 8th grade, and after that, anytime I could get my hands on a historical fiction, I did. The Diary of Anne Frank really opened that door for me, and then when I went to high school, I read all these historical fiction books for my literature classes and my AP English classes and it, they're really big on making you read historical fiction because most classics are historical fiction or occasionally they're dystopias, utopias, stuff like that and I just, oh my gosh, anything that has any sort of historical element, I just eat it up. I love it. I would like to tag everyone who watches this and anyone who watches this if you don't do videos, write your responses down below. I love it. If you do do a video, please link it down below because I want to see it and I will blast it on my social media and make sure everyone sees it. And that's all I have today. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!